Would you like to have a specialized coach sitting next to you while you're working on your Shopify store telling you how to do things by yourself? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add products to your Shopify store with the use of an AI tool that will not only tell me what buttons to click and where to find menus that I might not know about, it will explain all the options of the product to me if I don't know what they are and what they are for. And it will also tell me how I can have this product listing be SEO friendly so that I can attract more organic traffic. This might be the death of all software tutorials. If everyone will start using this thing, I think there will be no need for any video tutorials anymore. Let me show you what I'm talking about and you'll be the judge. So I'm here on my Shopify store and let's say I want to add a new product to my store. I'm selling soaps and bath products. I have a new entry that I want to add and I have a title for it. I have the price, I have my description and some bullet points and I want to add this product, but I don't know exactly how to do that. Normally you would go to YouTube and find some sort of tutorial for that and try to get the explanations that you need for that product page. But in some cases, tutorials are made years before. So if you find a tutorial that is a little bit outdated, some of the options might not be on that product page. Some of the options have moved and you just end up confused. This solution promises to fix that and you'll never have to deal with outdated tutorials. All you have to do is go to Google AI Studio. You're going to search on Google for Google AI Studio. You're going to find the first result here. It looks like this and you're going to register with them. Then you're going to see something like this. This is the dashboard and you're going to head to stream here and on the stream tab, you're going to go down below here and you're going to say share screen and it's going to ask you which screen. So you're going to just say entire screen maybe. And then after selecting this, you're going to hit share and now you're going to have an AI looking at your screen and listening to you. So I'm going to go ahead and allow this so that the AI can hear me and I'm going to try to add this product and ask questions and ask the AI to explain the process to me. So I'm going to hit here allow this time. You can allow it when visiting the site. I'm going to hit allow this time and now the AI is seeing what I'm seeing. So if I go to a different tab here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to ask the following question. Hey, are you there? Okay. I see that you are now on a Shopify page and you are about to ask a question. Is there anything specific you would like me to focus on on this page? Yes. I want to add a new product to my store. So I have this title and I was wondering if this title is a good title for my product. My Shopify store is selling bad goods. From what I see, you want to know if the title shop I S O A P five best soap set is good for your product and your Shopify store sells bath goods to give you better feedback. Could you take me to your store's homepage so I can see the kinds of products you have? Here is my homepage. Okay. I see that your homepage features soaps and bath products with a focus on natural and environmentally friendly ingredients. Given that shop I S O A P five best soap set seems like a fitting title as it clearly conveys what the product is and highlights its quality. This part is my brand. So Shopee Soap is the brand. Five best soap set. Can I make this more SEO friendly, for example? Now that I know Shop ISOAP is your brand, I recommend including it at the beginning of the title to emphasize it. For SEO friendliness, you could consider adding keywords related to the soap's ingredients, benefits, or target audience. What do you think of this approach? Can I copy that title from you? Yes, you can copy the title from me. S-H-O-P-I-S-O-A-P-5, Best Natural Soaps, Handmade Coconut Oil Soaps, Variety Pack. So, Is there anything else you need help with? So I'm going to copy the title from here and I'm going to go with it to my product page and I'm going to paste it in here. Isn't this too long of a title, maybe? Titles that are too long may get cut off in search results. How about Shop ISOAP Natural Soaps Coconut Oil Variety Pack? Does this title still capture all the important aspects while being more concise? Yes, I think this can work. So I'm going to copy this part here and I'm going to head back to my product page and replace the title. Now it's shorter and it looks better. Okay. What about the description? Is this a good description? From what I can see, 
The description highlights the key features and benefits of the soap set, such as the natural ingredients, handmade quality, and gentle effect on the skin. To make it even more effective, you could consider adding a call to action, such as try our shop ISOAP5 best soap set today. Remember that I want this description to be SEO friendly. Can you make sure that it is? To optimize the description for SEO, you should include relevant keywords naturally throughout the text. For example, you could incorporate variations of natural soap okay. and made. Can you write this description better than I did? Can you rewrite it so that I can copy it and paste it in my product page? Sure. Here's a revised description that you can copy and paste into your product page. Indulge in our SHOPIS OAP5 best soap set, featuring a hand-picked selection of our best-selling natural handmade soaps. Each soap is crafted with nourishing coconut oil and a blend of essential oils, leaving your skin feeling cleansed, hydrated, and lightly fragranced. Perfect for pampering yourself or gifting to loved ones, this set is a treat for the senses and a boost for your skin. Try our shop ISOAP5 best soap set today. Does that work for you? Yes, that sounds good. So I copied my, my description here. Now, what else can I do for SEO purposes on this product page? Great. One thing to consider is adding tags to your product page. Tags are keywords that help customers Do you mean find this here? Correct. You can add tags to your product page to improve SEO. Okay, what tags should I add in here? Can you list them so that I can copy and paste them in here? All right, here are some tag suggestions for your coconut oil variety pack. Natural soap, handmade soap, coconut oil soap, soap gift set, skincare, bath and body, and artisanal. Do you want any more suggestions? No, can you list them in a comma separated list? Sure. Here is a comma separated list of tags that could be used for your coconut oil variety pack. Natural soap, handmade soap, coconut oil soap, soap gift set, skin care, bath and body, artisanal soap. Are there any more suggestions I can help you with? Am I supposed to just paste them in here? Yes, you should be able to paste the comma separated list of tags into the tag section on your product page. The system should automatically recognize the commas and separate the tags accordingly. Yes. It did. Great. Is there anything else I can help you with regarding this product page? Yes, the tags are here. What else can I do now for my product page to be SEO friendly? All right. Adding high quality images or videos with descriptive alt text can boost your SEO. Would you like help creating descriptive alt text? Yes, I have images for my product. I will just have to add them. So I'm going to go now and show you the images that I have. These are the images that I have. This is one of them. This is another. And this is another. What can I do to make sure that these images are SEO friendly? Should I name them in a certain way? Yes, making sure your images are SEO friendly is a good idea. Optimizing image file names is a great first step. Given your product title, Shop ISOAP Natural Soap Set Coconut Oil Variety Pack, you could rename your images to something like Shoppy Soap Natural Soap Set 1.jpg and so on. For can each you image. give me the names for these three images? I can show them to you. So, this is one. What name should this one have? Can you list it so that I can copy and paste it? Certainly. Shoppy Soap Natural Soap set1 jpg would work well for this image of five colorful soaps all right ready for the next one Paste. yes can you tell me a name for this one given it also shows the five colorful soaps how about shoppy soap natural soap set 2 dot jpg yeah can we have like the position of the soap in the name i heard this is how they supposed to be named to contain as many details. Okay, considering that, you could name the image Shoppy Soap Stacked Natural Soap Set JPG. Does that sound good to you? Yes, list it so that I can copy that and also give me another name for the first image, including the position or some other details about the soaps in the picture. Okay, got it. How about Shoppy Soap Five Layered Natural Soaps JPG for the first image? Should I list Shoppy Soap Stacked Natural Soap Set JPG as well? No, I have that already. Noted. Is there a third image you'd like to rename? Okay, can you give me a name for the last one, which is this one over here? I am gonna take this and I'm going to add it in here. So now I have three images that are 
SEO friendly? Can you check that? Are they looking good? From what I can see, the image names are descriptive and consistent with your brand, which should be helpful for SEO. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, let's go back to the product page so that you can help me upload these images. How can I do that? I just click on here. All right. From here, click on Upload New under the Media section and then select the images from your computer. Okay, open. And they are now uploading. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yes, how can I make sure that these images are SEO friendly? What else can I do to them? In addition to using SEO friendly names, you can also add alt text to each image. How can I add alt text to these images? To add alt text, click on the image, and then you should see an option to add the alt text description. Does that work for you? Is this one over here? Looks like it. Okay, can you create an alt text for this image? Sure thing. How about this? A stack of five colorful natural soap bars from Shopee Soap. Would you like me to try another option? No, that's good. Just list it so that I can copy and paste it. Okay, here it is. Let me show you another image so that you can do the same thing with that. So I'm going to head back and just add it in here, right? Okay, can you create another alt text for this one over here? They are kind of similar, so you can do something similar too. Got it. Shopping Soap stacked five layer natural soap bar showcasing vibrant colors and handmade craftsmanship. Let me know if you need anything else. Yes, I have one more image. So I paste this one here, I save, and then I go to the last one, which is this one over here. Can you give me an alt text for this one? Okay, how about a set of five Shopee Soap natural soap bars, each uniquely colored and textured? Yes, that sounds good. I'm copying that now and I'm pasting that in. So I guess this is it for SEO for these images. Can you check if the sizings are good for these images? Are these images compressed? From what I see, the file sizes are 174 kilobytes, 181 kilobytes, and 224 kilobytes. Generally, smaller file sizes help with faster loading times, which is good for user experience in SEO. Do you have a specific target file size or compression level in mind? No, I just want to have good quality images, but still keep the file size small. Look at the details here. Are these images compressed enough? So these are the details for the images. Based on the information I see, the dimensions are 1200 by 1200 pixels, and the color space is RGB, which are standard for web images. If you are happy with the visual quality, the current compression level seems adequate. Would you like to compare these images to more compressed versions to see if there's a noticeable difference in quality? No, if you say they are compressed enough, we can just keep them like that. So this is my product so far. I have the title, I have the description, and I have my images. Now I see that I have a category here. Is this the correct category? I think so, right? It seems appropriate since your product is a natural soap set. Is there anything else I can help you with on this page? Yes, can you explain to me what is this type field here? The type field in Shopify is used to categorize products, which can help with organization, filtering, and navigation in your store. It's like a more specific subcategory within your main category. So this is just for internal use? Primarily, yes. You okay. can use it to organize and what filter about, products. What about this vendor and the collections? The vendor field identifies the manufacturer or supplier of the product. Collections are groups of products that you can create to organize your inventory. What else would you like to know? Okay, so if I am the vendor, so I create the products, I should just leave it blank or should I add Shopee also in here? Question number two, what collections should I include this one in? I have these collections here. And question number three, should I use the type field or not? All right, let's address these questions one by one. For the vendor field, if you create the products, then yes, you should put your shop name there, Shopee Soap. Regarding collections, based on the names you have there, adding it to the soap collection makes sense. As for the type field, it's optional but it can be helpful for filtering products within your Shopify admin. What do you think? 
Okay, let's go lower now that I have my title, description, images, and I've added here the vendor and the collection tags. Now I'm gonna add the price and I have my price here. So I'm going to just say $32. What is this compared to price field four? Should I use it? The compare at price field shows customers the original price of a product so they know they're getting a deal if it's on sale. Do you plan to put this product on sale? Yeah, it is already on sale. Normally this product costs like $55. Then you can put $55 in the compare at price field to show the discount. Do you okay. want to do that now? Yes, I just did that. You can add different versions of the product in the variance section. For example, if the soaps came in different scents or sizes, you could add those options here. Would you like to add any variants? No, I'm just gonna leave it as it is because this is a bundle. What else can I do? Is this something important? I see here a search engine listing. To optimize the search engine listing, you wanna make sure that the title and description are compelling and include relevant keywords that customers might use when searching for your product. Do you want help with keyword research? Yeah, I need you to give me the title including those keywords. How about Shop ISOAP Natural Handmade Soap Set Coconut Oil Variety Pack? Does that work for you? Yes, that works. I just copy that. I'm gonna paste it now in here. And what about the meta description? Can you help me generate one? Sure. How about this? Indulge in our shop ISO AP5 Best Soap Set featuring a hand-picked selection of our best-selling natural handmade soaps. Each soap is crafted with nourishing coconut oil for the senses and a boost for your skin. Try our shop ISO AP5 Best Soap Set today. Okay. Does that that sounds good. Let me just paste that in. What about the URL handle? Should I change that? Or this is good enough? For the URL handle, it's good to keep it concise and relevant. Since it currently includes natural soap set coconut oil variety pack, it's already well optimized. Keeping it as is would be a good option. Okay, then I just have to save and I have my product, right? That's right. Saving the product will apply all the changes you've made. Can you preview this? product with me so i'm gonna go to the product page can you let me know if i should change anything i should do anything to it to make it better i can see here that it says sold out how can i fix that all right to fix the sold out status you can go back to the product editing page in shopify and adjust the inventory settings where can i find the inventory settings if you scroll down the page you should find a section labeled inventory do okay. you see it Yes. Great. And do you see where it says quantity and on hand? You can update the on hand quantity to reflect the actual number of soap sets you have available. So what does committed mean? Committed refers to the quantity of items that are part of an unfulfilled order. This means that someone has already purchased these items, but the order hasn't been shipped or fulfilled yet. Got it. So I just have to add available units in here. Exactly. You can adjust the available number to reflect how many units you have in stock and ready to sell. Reason? What is the reason? The reason field is optional, but it's useful for internal tracking. You can okay. select. I'm just going to save that. Now I have 100 pieces on hand and available. Now the product page should change, right? Exactly. Let me know if you need help with anything else. What else can I do to improve this product page? So this is the page. I have my title, my description, my call to action here, and the images on this side listed like that. Your product page has a clean and straightforward layout, which is a good start. One thing you might consider is adding customer reviews to the page. Reviews can build trust and provide social proof for potential buyers. Give me a list of things that I should add on this page. So I have reviews, what else? In addition to customer reviews, consider adding high quality product videos, detailed specifications, a prominent FAQ section, and trust badges to enhance credibility. Would you like more details about any of these? I think I have enough for now. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here if you have any more questions. Do you see how powerful this AI tool can be? If you want to give it a try, go to Google AI Studio. Whatever I showed you is free, so you won't have to pay anything. If you like this video, I think you would like to see that video next. So click it and I'll see you there.